Hi, just a really quick tutorial on how to get started with machine learning on Windows. So a few weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to install DeepMinds software uh, on your own machine and a prerequisite was that you had to install Linux. If you don't want to install Linux and if you want to play with uh, machine learning on a Windows machine, here's one way you can do it. Um, you first download uh, WinPython. So Google for Win Python download and you'll come to this page. Download the executable and install it on your on your drive. Then to run software on uh, to run your code on the GPU as opposed to on the uh, CPU, uh, download uh, CUDA for Windows. So I'll put the link below in the description as well. And then you select your operating system, in this case Windows. Uh, the version, I've got Windows 10. I downloaded the local executable and just press download. And then just install it, follow the instructions. Um, you know, you want to check that you've got an NVIDIA capable uh, uh, GPU before you do so. So Google for um, CUDA Windows and you'll find that there's a, a, a good guide which tell, tells you about the requirements um, including how to verify that you've got a, a CUDA capable GPU. Um, under requirements uh, you'll see that you also need Visual Studio um, you know 10, 12 or 13 uh, 2015 isn't uh, supported yet. Um, if you want a free version Download the Community Edition 2013. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Just download here and install the Express Edition isn't sufficient. So use Community 2013 if you want a free version. Um, yeah, so then you've you've installed WinPython, you've installed CUDA for Windows. Okay, to test that it's running, uh, that the code is running on your GPU, um, you can copy and paste uh, this script. I'll, I'll put the link to this in the description below as well. So copy and paste this into a file and save it somewhere on your drive. And then open up a command prompt. First of all, go to your uh, WinPython installation. Go to the scripts directory and type env to set the uh, environment correctly. Uh, then go to where you saved your script, your Python script, and run it using um, Python and then the name of the file. So the first time I'd expect it to run on the CPU because I haven't set the Tiano flags to use the GPU. Okay, so it says here, use the CPU, and it took 13.38 seconds. Now, if I go back to this page, it shows me how to set the flags to use the GPU. So you see that uh, device equals GPU, control C, and then say set, control V. So now we've set the uh, device to be GPU, and run the script again. So you can see it's using the GPU, and it took uh, 0.8 seconds, so uh, maybe 15 times more quickly to run that script. Um, so let's go back to this uh, tutorial again. So this tutorial was written by a guy called Brandon. Um, it's a really great tutorial. Uh, I can highly recommend uh, his his blog, his work here. Uh, this particular one is great because he uses a very simple grid world uh, example to show, uh, to illustrate the same approach that DeepMind took to solving the Atari playing um, problem that I talked about in my previous tutorial. So I can highly recommend this. Um, again, it's a simple problem, but the approach and the technique is um, sufficiently advanced to tackle more complex problems. And he goes through it in, in sufficient detail. So very, very good work, highly recommended. And, and he provides the code. Um, so that's great stuff. Um, 
to get this running on your machine, uh, you can download the um, the Python notebook. There's a link to it here at the bottom. Um, in your Win Python installation, you will find um, an executable called Jupyter. I think it's pronounced Jupyter Notebook. Um, if you start that, it will open up uh, this in your in your browser. Um, then you can uh, upload the uh, the uh, notebook uh, that you just downloaded. Here it's called ORL Part Three, um, and uh, you click on it to run it. So it's running in the browser now. Um, you can either uh, run all, you can step through the, the different pieces, or you can press Control, uh, sorry, Shift, Enter to step through in the browser. So that's one way to run it. You can also save off the file as a Python file um, and run it uh, from your command shell. And then similarly, you can set the uh, Tiano flags to either use CPU or GPU. Now, I found actually that this didn't run uh, more quickly using GPU, so I'm guessing there's something about the way the Keras uh, library is being used that isn't optimal for GPU usage. I'll, I'll look into that. Uh, be interested to, to see um, or to hear from you um, if you manage to get this running more quickly on the GPU than the CPU. So I hope this was helpful. Um, uh, questions or comments, very welcome below. Um, thanks.